Great Buddy. to see you, David. Good to see you guys. Welcome. Hi, David. Good to Come see you. Come on in. Guys. David, tell us a little bit about what you think your favorite parts of the house are. Well, you know, my wife and I had this debate when we built the house that I wanted to be in the country and she wanted the amenities of the city. And so we found this uh, a plot of land and we were able to build a house that uh, most of the year it's, uh, it's all filled in and you can't really see another house from the back. You feel like you're on a private lake in the middle of the woods somewhere, but we can walk to restaurants and Starbucks. And so the location um, and the, the fact that we could get this much land in the middle of Cary you know, it was really something unique. And we knew this is where we wanted to build. Can you tell us a little bit about your kitchen? Yeah, sure. My wife spent a lot of time designing the kitchen. We laid it out with popsicle sticks and string and walked through it because we really wanted to maximize, you know, the kitchen is where you hang out like all the time. So we wanted the kitchen to be kind of a central point. We wanted it to be an, an open floor plan where you can see the family room and the piano and the dining room. But we wanted to be able from the windows to see the pool and the big um, atrium here and be able to see the, the lake and the, and the scenery. Of course, that limits your cabinet space. So we had to be really uh, careful on putting the island in and the serving bar. And we did things like we went with one stove, but we added the Avantium, which acts as a second stove. It also acts as a second microwave. So that one tool is able to double as the second microwave or second oven, whichever we, we need. When my daughter was little, we could watch her swim while we, while we were fixing dinner. And, and that was really nice. So we could see my dad float by fly fishing on the lake. And it was just, it's, it was wonderful. Now the house is fully voice activated. Anything electrical um, you can turn on uh, using just voice commands in every room. And the nightlight circuit's great because there's always enough light to move around in the house. Um, and then at dawn, it turns that off. So uh, it's really a, um, uh, a very friendly for this big of a house you really need. Like just to turn off all the lights in a house this size, you know, would take, it'd be a, a five minute ritual every night. And so it's great to just say, you know, Alexa, turn off all lights, you know, and, uh, and have, her, have her do that. Oh. We, we debated on an inside or outside pool and there's pros and cons to both. Um, but the cool thing about these eight foot wide door walls is that when you open them all up, it's like you're, it's an outside pool for all practical purposes. But in the winter, you close it up and it's nice and warm and you swim year round. It's great being in the pool or down in the hot tub on the lower deck and, and the lake's frozen and it's snowing and you're sitting there and it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's magical. My electrical costs are actually a lot lower than people with a house half this size. And it's mainly because of the way we built it. Um, in the construction pictures, you saw, you know, the cement walls are this thick around the house. And on top of that, they laid four inch, you know, stone. So it's, uh, and, and the basement is, is, is underground for the majority of it. Um, so it's a very uh, energy efficient house to start with. And the tile roof helps um, reflect in, in, um, that uh, heat and hold it in, 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 the, uh, in the winter. Can you tell us a little bit about the lower level of the house, some of your favorite features down here? Yeah, sure. We, well, you know, we put rooms down here where you didn't really need um, as much of a, a view of the lake. You know, this is where we have the, uh, the theater, which you want dark and windowless, and, uh, and some of the, uh, the four heat exchangers are, are in here. The house is a great party house because there's so many different places for people to perch and set. And some people are in the pool room and some are in the balconies or playing pool or ping pong or, you know, whatever they're spread out around the, around the house. The house has a lot of, uh, of, of secrets. My daughter, when she was little, she really wanted a secret room in the house somewhere. And I talked her into a loft in her bedroom as kind of, uh, and I, kept, I tried to convince her that that was a secret room. She's like, Dad, they can all see the staircase. <laughs> and, uh, and so we did, uh, I, needed, I needed somewhere to hide my, uh, my server room and, and some of the less attractive stuff. So this is, a, uh, this is actually a room. It could be a panic room too, if you wanted. Um, it's a nice solid door. And, um, but in here we have the ping pong, we have our, our water filtration system and my server racks um, are in this room. So this is our theater here. My wife actually made the sound panels. We ordered all the soundproof foam and, and she upholstered them. And, and this room is almost completely covered in sound panels. So the sound, when it hits you, it just stops just exactly the way it should. Uh, we come down here and listen to music a lot of the times or music videos um, because it's so great to hear it. Even in seven channel surround, it's, it's awesome. Um, but there's a mid channel speakers, there's front speakers, 
the subwoofer, and then there's the two back speakers. So you really get the, you get the side. If the movies are done um, well, you'll get sound from the front, the sides, and the back. And these, and these fully recline too. Here, I'll just show you there. And uh, so I can play video games here and I'm yeah. going to get the full effect. When I'm playing. Full effect. Actually, these seats here in the middle are the best. Uh, but uh, you can eat dinner down here if you want. Um, there's a tablet for controlling everything, our voice controls, and of course my joysticks for the, uh, for the games. And that, these seats have the, the butt blaster in them, so you're going to feel that vibration. Whenever the joystick vibrates, it will vibrate as well. It's also really nice in movies. Um, they're starting to, uh, if the base, if you hear like if a spaceship goes by and you hear that rumbling, your seat will also rumble. So it's a, it's a very immersive um, experience. Is that a yeah. technical term? That is the name of the brand. Oh, is it really? So yes, there there may be other ones on the market now, but those have, those have worked great. I didn't tell you, but underwater in the pool, there are underwater speakers, um, and they make no sound. In fact, you can't hear a thing until you put your ear in the water, and then you hear this this surround. Uh, it's uh, the sound. The water itself is the soundboard uh, for it, but it's very tranquil. I heard that my first time at uh, where was I? The Grove Park Inn, and uh, they had that built into their underground spa. And, and I said, oh, I gotta have that. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> so I've also got, this is the, you can look at the words on the screen when you karaoke, or really anywhere in the house, you can put the karaoke uh, stuff. But the speakers are down here, and um, sometimes, the reason this is here, and you can put that away, but sometimes, um, People just want to set. They don't want to stand up there and perform. They just want to set. And so we'll just bring this over and set it in front of them. Um, or they can turn it around and perform up here. Um, so we have parties uh, after a few drinks. I, I always say it's not about talent, it's about courage. And, uh, and I've, got, uh, I've got about 9,000 um, songs that I've purchased and they're built into the house. You can play them anywhere. We can play any song anywhere just by asking for it, but the karaoke ones that you have to purchase and, uh, and so they're, uh, they're part of the house. Uh, when you see these buttons that have scenes pre-selected, like here's theater, here's exercise. I notice the exercise room isn't on, but you notice if I hit the exercise button, what'll happen is the exercise room will come on, the lights will adjust, TVs will go to uh, the Roku, which I usually look at, and uh, the ceiling fan will adjust the temperature, cool it down a little bit in there. And so you'll notice the room came on uh, to the way that I like to exercise. But then you hit the button again and it, and it goes off. Same thing with the theater button, the game night button. Um, so these are just predefined scenes. Um, but actually we don't use these much anymore because since I've made the house voice active, um, it's so much easier just to say, turn on the theater scene. My wife and I like to exercise and we come down here and we'll work out together. Um, we've got the floor space here. We do some uh, YouTube video uh, cardio workouts or we'll do the weights or the treadmill. Um, but this is, a, this is a, a, a fun place. We'll put on some, uh, some show we want to see or documentary and, uh, and it's a great way to, to, to you know, kind of just remove the excuses. Uh, then there's a sauna upstairs if you want a sauna afterwards.